All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Dungeon Rushers. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, I have to say that we, I, <laughs> we here at All Play, I have been given a code in order to play this game on the channel. Uh, and as always, there will be a link in the description where you can find out more about this game on Steam, as well as more info about the developers for it. Let's go ahead and play us a little bit of Dungeon Rushers. Let's see, I can already see it can be played either with a mouse and keyboard or with a controller. Let's let's give it a shot with controller. Let's give it a shot with controller. Um, I actually haven't played this yet, so I have no idea what it's about. And it seems I only have two options. I have campaign or tavern. On the team over there, it looks like I have Ilion. He's the only person. Let's check out the campaign. Oh, oh, I'm Bronze League Rank 10. That's pretty dope. Elyon had had enough of the daily grind, all work and no play. He was done with it. So one morning, he made a decision. He would join the noble community of dungeon looters. Our story begins at the edge of his village in front of a supposedly haunted ancient crypt. Well, I can't back out now. I'm telling you, you're not cut out to be an adventurer. You do fine work as a toilet cleaner, and you're throwing it all away. Enough of that. I want the high life, glory, gold, and girls. I can agree with him on, uh, on one of those there. I'm all about to go out. Oh, really? So what are you waiting for? Aren't you going? I, I'm refining my strategy. Your strategy? A scrawny coward like you? Go on, get back to the tavern. What? No one, and I mean no one gets to call me a coward. I'm off. <laughs> Shame. You're a good boy at heart. All right. So let's see. Uh, the character token in the center represents your team. Move with the control pad of the left stick, or move the camera with the right stick. Oh, it's teaching me too much already. Let's see. Uh, my character's ability is available in the dungeon. Moves with the left trigger. There's bonus challenges down at the bottom left. I can stare the camera with the right trigger, and I can leave the dungeon, I'm guessing, with B. All right, so let's move. Oh, it's a dungeon crawler. This is pretty cool. It's, it's kind of it's set up like it's a tabletop board game. Monsters. A human in our dusty galleries? Get out! You'll clear away all our lovely dust with your horrible clean fingers. This game's got a sense of humor, I see. A skeleton! If only I could somehow sneak by and avoid a fight. Avoid me? I can hear you coming from miles away. You'll need the right ability if you want to avoid a fight. You'd better flee, kid. It's dangerous here. So is the skeleton on our side? Flee! Never! Prepare to fight, unholy creature! Oh, my bone! He's charging at me! Oh, I guess we have to fight him. Info. Bleeding. He's got bleeding. Or does that mean I... Oh, he's immune to bleeding! Oh, that makes sense. Because he's a skeleton. Alright, let's fight. Okay, and it's turn-based? Yeah, turn orders are on the right side. And then fighter information. I'm guessing that's health, magic, and something else. What's the yellow? Oh, well, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so so the, the skeleton warrior's stats. He's got 10 health, 1 magic, and then 1 whatever the yellow is. He's got 1 yellow. He's got sharp attack of 3. All right. So I got perforation, a basic attack to able to weaken the enemy. Here you go. All right. Straight forward. I like how he has a bow in his right hand, and he's attacking with a dagger in the left. All right, so we got one gout, and it looks like we got two items. We got iron. It's a resource for crafting. Oh, there's crafting in this game. I'm here for it. And then an iron sword. I wonder if I could equip that. I need to be level one. I am level one, right? Let's equip that sword. I found a sword on the skeleton. Uh, I press Y to go to my team, it was. And I can equip it. Let's see. Equipped. Oh, before I had the brush for the toilet. Dope. Not really, but you know. I like this. I like the aesthetic of this. It's an event. I can either inspect this or leave it. Something tells me it has the possibility of a bad thing. 
but we're going to inspect it. We've got the Blessing Fury. What does that mean? What does that do? Let's see if I can look it up here. Skills. It's not my skills. Would it be on talents? Oh, I got a talent tree. That's dope. Talent tree instead of toiletry. What does the effect down here do? How can I look at that effect? Immune to immune to four. Oh, immune to four. I don't know how to how to look at that. It won't it won't let me move that way. It'll be alright. We'll be okay. We'll figure it out eventually. What is this? Pathfinder. It feels adjacent rooms up to a range of two squares oh it's a spell i can use an outside of battle spell i guess let's use it there we go oh it reveals them not permanently just where i am at the moment okay another skeleton they definitely all look the same on guard a kid pretending to be an adventurer again it's not a place to play here let me quietly haunt this place save your breath i mean your but how can you talk, by the way? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Die again. Seriously? Does rest in peace ring a bell to you? Nah, fam. You got to get this work. You got to get this work. I like this so far. I'm, I'm having a good old time. So perforation now is now seven damage. And I guess he defended last time because it was six and he def and only dealt five. What? What? Oh, 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 I can pick stuff. Okay, let's let's use perforation. Am I do I have to hit it twice? Oh, it lets me see. I don't know if you can see the skeleton's health underneath uh, the the little hint tab. But it lets me know how much damage is going to be left. Dope. All right, I'm going to need to heal soon. I seize it already. I seize it already. No items, but we got one gout. We got 20 experience. That's something. I like this. A skeleton. Again. But this one seems different somehow. It must be the boss of this place. Manager, actually. So it was you who's been causing all the fuss around here. Do you know how much trouble you've caused me? I'm going to have to submit a report to management. And kill you, of course. You think you can scare me, you decrepit pile of bones? Well, then, I'll teach you to have some respect for the dead. All right, so there's a pile of bones. I wonder if that's what was decrepit. And then there's the skeleton warlock who's immune to bleeding and armor break. Okay, so we can't break his armor. Here we go. <laughs> you can't reach me. So I guess we have to go through the pile of bones first with our dagger. Or we can use the bow. It seems. Precision shot. I'm here for it. And it costs one magic, I'm guessing. One blue energy. Uh, shoots arrow at any enemy. Here you go. Hold this hold this arrow for us, fam. I mean, he's going to attack. I don't feel well. I better take a potion. All right, let's take a potion. Red potion, blue potion. Stamina. That's what that is. Stamina. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. Here we go. All right, and now we can get back to precision shotting this 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 warlock. He's out of here. I wonder if we would have attacked this, the pile of bones first. What would have happened? Like, would we have gotten more of anything or anything? Uh, do you want to loot the treasure? Yes, let's loot the treasure. Uh, the crypt half haunted. Bonus challenge. Oh, is that what? That's what we came here for. There was another another square up there we could have visited, I guess. All right, we should have we probably should have gone there first. Uh, there's a mushroom here; it's useful for crafting, and there is ash here that's useful for crafting. Pretty dope. Uh, is there a way I can do something else other than go here first? I guess I can go back to the crypt half on it. Let's see. We already got the treasure. Did we complete those challenges? Is there a way to tell whether we completed the challenges or not? We didn't. I don't think we slayed all the monsters. There must have been something left there. Max three abilities. What? Let's see. There's the workshop. Oh, we can't go to any of those yet. All the stuff at the bottom is unlocked. Let's see. Let's go on to the next place. The Dungeon's Hidden Tavern. All right. Let's go.
After this first success, Elyon, our young adventurer, left to explore another abandoned dungeon on a quest for riches and glory. But I... What is this place? This can't be right. I must have made some mistake. Hmm. Hey, mister, what's a tavern doing in a supposedly abandoned dungeon? Isn't it obvious? We're here to serve drinks. You should give them a try, kid. I don't like tourists who come in and don't buy anything. To be honest, I was planning on investigating this dungeon to fill my pockets. No one told me it had already been explored. Well, it hasn't been. The first adventurers thought that discovered this place thought that it might be more profitable to set up a tavern here instead of searching for what little treasure there might be found. So, you're telling me there might still be some treasure somewhere inside this place. I'm gonna look for it. Maybe I'll be able to retire sooner than planned. You're optimistic. Lots of newly minted adventures have gone before you and were never seen again. This, that's why this place is never going to be cleaned out. This dungeon, think of it as a natural selection. Those in the know understand that there's nothing better than good beer. The others die in galleries for a few measly coins. In short, you've got no chance on your own. Then come with me. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Don't you want to find out what else might be hidden in this place? I'm not an adventurer. I'm Thorgrim, the best accountant in the country. I'm Elion. Nice to meet you. So you're an accountant, carrying a war hammer and wearing armor? It's a dangerous profession, don't you know? I need an accountant. I promise I'll, I'll pay if you come with me, even if you just come take a look. Work? I suppose I don't really have a choice then. Don't worry. We'll be rich by the time we get out of here. Hey, don't forget to pay me before you leave. Run, kid! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we got Pathfinder as one of our abilities, and then now with the accountant, we have the accountant's flare and unveils a room which can be looted, can unveil the treasure room. Dope. Oh, we have our own stamina. Okay. So let's head up. And then this way. Hopefully the accountant will help us find some money. Uh we got a monster. It's a skeleton warrior. Oh lord. It's one of these clowns. All right, so we have the accountant with us in battle. Let's uh, let's give him a, a a swift slash, a swift slash, and then the accountant takes. He's got the hammer ring. Give him a good hammer ring. Cause he's much better at defending. Clearly, he's much better at defending than I. Dope. Let's go. Let's keep explorizing. Oh, it's another skeleton warlock. Sorry, we got two attackers this time. To his one, and he has no uh, and he has no no pile of bones in the way. The hammering should do him, huh? Oh, he goes. He's faster than uh, than than our boy Thorgrim. There it is. Faster, but not stronger. What's down here? Okay. Just, an, just a, we take an alternate path. That's pretty dope. Hey, ouch! What was that? A trap. They're everywhere. But I guess a crafty kid like you can find them and deactivate them, right? Wouldn't it just be easier to avoid them? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course not. If there's a trap in the way, you can either deactivate it or set it off. That's how it goes. Hmm. All right. So it's a trap. Uh, I can. Uh. Let's see. Huh. What does it say? Oh, e I can either have Elyon go first and deactivate the trap. It'll cost me five stamina. Or I can have Thorgrim go first. And he's just going to instead take the damage. So it's a poison trap. What is food for one is poison for another. Uh, it'll deal one damage. And then it has three turns of poison that deal two damage each turn. No, let's have Elyon... Uh, take it take care of it trap trigger so wait it didn't we didn't deactivate it did I do something wrong could have swore I said deactivate this trap a skeleton Lancer oh no oh no let's see if that thing will deal more than four damage 
Let me see. How, how did I do it before where I looked at... It's not going to let me, is it? Nope. There was a way that I looked at how much damage he could deal. If that's going to deal more... Than, if the skeleton's going to deal more than four damage to Elyon, and it looks like we can't get rid of him in one shot, then Elyon's going to die, and that's not good. All right. This monster has a strong armor. Let me use a magical attack by the Thunder of Thor. So we got Thor Strike. Hey, here you go. So it's not about physical with him. You want to get magical. You want to get special. Here you go. And then once more. That should kill. Yeah, yo. Dope. What was the loot? A small lanyard. Gotta be level two to use it. And it increases stamina by two. Dope. Alright, let's move up. Loot the treasure. This doesn't look like a treasure room. And those barrels over there look pretty recent. Who cares? Look, I found the chest. But there's almost nothing inside. I just wonder if... Just a few coins and a bit of paper? Hey, look... There's one here with your name on it. Just as I feared. Thor, damn it. We're in the tavern storeroom. And that's my tab you've got there. Really? But how is this? Is it true? Do you really owe 2,000 gold pieces? Quick, gather everything up and make a quick exit before anyone sees us. And try to look innocent. Uh, let's leave that if that's the case. We can explore some more. Oh, we got... Oh, a skeleton warrior and a skeleton warlock. Huh. <sighs> Let's give them the work. Let us give them the work. We, st we carried over our, our turns of poison damage. How lovely. Let's heal up. Oh, Thor. Oh, Thor. You need to heal too. Here you go. All right, now we can give them all the business. We can give them all the finest of work. See Thor's hammer? Oh, we can't hit him with that. Is he immune? What was he immune to? He was immune to bleeding and armor, armor, armor break. There we go, armor break. Yeah, yo. And now it's Thor's turn. Thor Grimm, I should say. All right. Dope. All right, let's explore a little more. Oh, a conversational piece. Welcome, stranger. Uh, hello? What are you doing there? I'm just a help selfless benefactor. <laughs> I help any adventurers I meet on my travels. It's dangerous to go on alone. Take this. Huh? Um, well, thanks. What do I owe you for it? Hey, listen. I'm just making... My contribution to your noble quest, he <laughs> Please continue with your adventure. That guy was strange. True, but it's not important. We've got another potion. That sounds like trouble. That sounds like it's not a potion. It sounds like it has, in fact, there to destroy me. All right. So it turns out this was the only treasure here. That's fine. All right. So at the most, we used three potions. I think that's exactly yeah, that's exactly how many we used. Dungeon 100% unveiled and no trap triggered. We actually hit the trap. I want to know how to do that without making it go off. We got flex. We got iron. We got a leather strap. That was pretty dope. This game's pretty cool. This game is pretty cool. Uh, that's all I'm going to do for this nice little look at this game. But honestly, I'm interested in playing more of this. I want to play a little bit more of this. So I might pick this up in, in a future playthrough. It's possible. It could always come up. Uh, once again, guys, if you're interested in this game, if you like the looks and the feel and the sounds of Dungeon Rushers and would love to see more, then there's the link in the description where you can check this game out on Steam for yourself. You can also connect with the developers. I have links to their social media or their website, something, in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get to see notifications whenever a video pops up on the channel or whenever we do something with like a live stream or something like that. Thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more. 
here on Alt Play. This game's cool. <laughs>